Hey everybody, Ryan here. Really quick, I want to share this with you. Uh, this is a secret that's helped change my life uh, the more I paid attention to it. So I want you guys to see this. I believe God wants you guys to pay closer attention to your dreams. Pay closer attention to your dreams. Your dreams may be revealing more than you think. A lot of times we as believers, we as people just going through life, God has been speaking to you relaying certain messages to you through dreams. And a lot of times we just think a dream is a dream. We don't take time to steward it. We don't take time to try to understand it. We don't take time to try to interpret it. Sometimes we don't even take time to ask God what it even means. Uh, but I want to just share with you just a couple quick examples of different things uh, where God showed me things through dreams. I remember um, all the way back when I was like four years old, um, I had a dream where the Lord showed up uh, specifically and um, there was these demonic things that were showing up in my dreams and they were tormenting me. And I remember um, the Lord placing his arms around me and basically letting me know that everything would be all right. So all of the fear, everything that was happening in the dream, all the demonic entities, they disappeared. And um, I remember uh, another dream I had when I was like in fourth grade, I saw my prom. So like literally the exact colors that I ended up wearing, uh, you know, almost 10 years later at my prom, uh, I was basically living this out in a dream. Um, another dream that I had in 2008, um, I was laying on the couch. I was physically in the real life. I was physically laying on my couch. Um, and as I was having this dream, a lot of things were happening. An angel showed up uh, specifically in my dream. It was this angel was like a different angel. I've seen angels in dreams before, but this was like a different angel. This angel looked like he was ready for war. Um, and one of the things he just called my name specifically and says, Ryan, someone is breaking into your house. And uh, I was so fascinated by the fact that an angel was in my dream and he was talking to me. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to the message. I was just so in awe of it. And so he ended up saying this message to me three times, Ryan, someone is breaking into your house. Wake up, someone is breaking into your house. And so finally on the third uh, time that he said it, I felt like a, a physical nudge and a shaking uh, happened to me in real life. And so I woke up and as I'm walking through my house, I'm, I'm hearing that I'm starting to hear the sound. As I get to um, this bedroom that's in my house, I could literally see a guy who's opening the window. He's like halfway through uh, the house. He was literally breaking into my house. And so um, that was a, a specific dream that just, again, obviously rattled me. And so another dream I had was when I was like 17 years old, um, going on 18 years old, I ended up I was in a place and I was building, um, I was building something. I remember having sheetrock in my hand. And it was like I was building a physical place and the people I was, was standing next to, their face was all blurred out. I couldn't see their face. And uh, come to find out like six weeks later, I would end up meeting these people and end up in Tijuana, Mexico, actually building that, the, the physical place that, um, that I was in. We were building a sanctuary for the church. And that specific night, there were miracle signs and wonders that happened. Again, the, the group that we went with, uh, specifically one of the first miracles is the pastor, he preached in English uh, with no translator and the people heard him in Spanish, right? And, and people were coming up to him after service asking him, how did he learn how to speak Spanish? So saw one miracle. And then also again, um, the laying on the hands, right? We, we laid hands on people. Uh, there was people in our group specifically laid hands on people. I saw a lady leave her wheelchair um, she had been in wheelchair for like, I don't know, seven, eight years. She left her wheelchair there. Uh, my brother and I, we tandemly, we we were praying for this guy. He came in with a neck brace. Uh, he was saying that his neck was broken. Again, we prayed on him. We laid hands on him. He left his neck brace there. It's So again, you know, your dreams are uh, important. Uh, literally, the place that I'm living in right now um, was a result of a dream. Uh, again, I had a dream that a friend of mine or someone that I knew um, owned a Airbnb like uh, property and as someone was moving out that I would be moving in. And so again, what you guys want to begin doing um, is stewarding your dreams. And what I mean by that is write them all down, write them all down. Because one of the things that God tells us in the word of God is to write the vision and make it plain. And sometimes the vision comes in a dream. And I don't know who this word is for. I believe God in this hour, especially uh, this is a month of, of 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 miracles. This is a month of answered prayers. Uh, again, uh, the other night I was sitting here uh, like, God, give me a word to share with your people. 
and I opened and I specifically opened to Psalms 30s. Um, it's, it's, it, it, it's titled the blessedness of answered prayers. And I believe again, for some of you guys right now, the blessing of the answered prayer, the vision of what God is going to do is already being released to you in your dream space, but you're not paying attention to it. Right. And so God could be sharing things with you about what needs to change in your life, what needs to change in your heart, uh, what needs to change in your relationship with him so that the blessings and the things that you're praying for can be unlocked. And as we steward the dreams, as we pay attention to what God is saying, as we write them down, as we pray um, and we prophesy that they begin to be made manifest in our life, I believe a lot of you guys are going to start to see um, what it is that you're speaking, right? You're going to dream a thing. You're going to wake up in your conscious life. You're going to speak what you see. You're going to prophesy that in your life, and then you're going to see it to come to pass, okay? And so this has been a secret that's helped change my life. Uh, pay attention to your dreams. Write it down. Steward them well. And you're going to see the answered and the blessedness of the answered prayers in your life. Hope this helps. Like this video. Share this with somebody else. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.